This is today's article on Express UK, Yellowstone Volcano, Super Volcano, Tremors. Seismometers detect seismic energy, prompting a need for study. Seismic energy, that is, earthquakes and earthquake swarms and low-frequency earthquakes, magma movement, etc. This is by Sebastian Kelly, Yellowstone Super Volcano Seismometers, the monitoring stations, and there, from what uh, the videos, the previous videos we are, I just uploaded today and yesterday, having to do with the sensitivity of these instruments, they can pick up a movement that is a split fraction of a human hair. That's how sensitive they are. Now, uh, the seismometers used, deployed around the site of Yellowstone Lake, have detected signs of micro seism energy the small earthquakes they're generated deep in the heart of the yellowstone national park more than 50 seismic trackers around yellowstone volcano biggest lake have recorded evidence of these tremors known as micro seism the yellowstone discovery comes af off the back of the study examining the presence of Tremors in Great Lakes around the globe. Microsism is a faint shake of the Earth associated with the interaction of ocean waves and the seabed. In Yellowstone, trackers have found evidence of microsism on a much smaller scale at the 135.9 square miles Yellowstone Lake in northwest U.S. in Wyoming, of course. Jamie Farrell, who is Chief Seismologist at the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, the YVO, said the study funded by the National Science Foundation has found the most likely source of the tremors. He explained, as a geologist as he, that he is, that the weekly, in the weekly Yellowstone Caldera Chronicles, and you'll find that a video updated uh, today, uh, there are two ways that the ocean's wave causes seismic shaking. The direct interaction of ocean waves and the solid ground near the shore, that's a single frequency micro -sism. and the interaction of two sets of waves, trains traveling in different directions in the open ocean, that's a double frequency micro -sism. The double frequency micro -sism can be due to two storm systems and their associated wave trains interacting in the open ocean, or caused by waves interacting with reflected waves near the coastline. Due to the size of the world's oceans and the costs of deploying ocean bottom seismometers, there are very few observations of the source of the oceanic micro -sism. In Yellowstone's case, the seismic energy generated by Yellowstone's lake is the second double frequency type. This type of seismicity is, called by, is caused by the so-called wave-wave interaction. Further investigations into the seismic phenomenon can help geologists map the geyser basin beneath the lake bed of Yellowstone Lake. But scientists are still uncertain where exactly the micro -sism is located within Yellowstone Lake. Dr. Farrell suggests there is yet unexplored correlation between Yellowstone's lake's waves and the ever-changing direction of the wind. This is fascinating. Yellowstone Lake is so big, it's got its own little waves, and of course, the changing wind, the direction of the wind, that's amazing. It can cause micro seism waves. He said, future analysis of these seismic data will provide an opportunity to advance the understanding of the generation of micro seism energy, as well as eliminate, illuminate the robust hydrothermal system on the floor of Yellowstone Lake. Hydrothermal, he's meaning the geysers there in the fissures. In addition, since micro seismic energy is only generated during warmer months when the lake is not frozen, we can use the, per the permanent seismic network to record the date of when micro seism energy is generated, lake thaw, and the date where the micro seismic energy ceases to exist, lake freeze through time. A long-term record of these data can provide additional data related to the effects of climate change in the Yellowstone region.
the microseismic discovery came after the University of Utah and the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institute used 40 land seismometers around Yellowstone Lake. Additional measurements were made by four weather stations in the region and two wave gauges in the lake. The seismometer deployment was also made in conjunction with the Hyde Lake project, which deployed another 10 measuring instruments at the bottom of Yellowstone Lake. Overall, scientists have found the microseism at Yellowstone Lakes around one second between two consecutive peaks, as opposed to three to 20 seconds in the ocean. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.